So hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to create rain in Adobe Animate. So I am working in the version CC 2020 and uh, I already created tutorial about how to create snow in Adobe Animate and how to create particles. And those are kind of similar tutorial and I'm going to provide the link in the description. And now I would like to show you how to create rain because we are going to be working a little bit different way. So right now I am on the site Pixabay and I just want to get some image as a background image for the rain. So you can use any image, but I would like to go with this one. I use this one also for the snow tutorial. So just click on the image and I will provide the link in the description. And you can see that it is free for commercial use and no attribution required, but you can still follow attribute or donate to the author if you want and just click free download. And I would like to go with 920 by 1080. And I already downloaded this, so I'm not going to do it one more time. So now I will go to the Photoshop and in the Photoshop we will be, uh, in the Photoshop we will create the, the particles. So I'm going to hit create new. And I would like to go with uh, 1600 by 1600 and I will hit create. So uh, right now I am going to have the black background and I would like to get some other color so I can see my rain because my rain is going to be white. So I'm going to get solid color and I'm going to go with the black color like this. And right now I, I went to the adjustment layer and I did this like so. And I'm going to provide this uh, rain particles in the description, but you can create your own. So if you want to follow along. So now I will create new empty layer. So this create new layer next, next to the trash, like so. And on this, I would like to, with my brush, create this rain. So I will hit B for the brush, or you can go to the brush tool in here, like so. And then you can right click and by default, you are going to have brush like this. But you can go, and actually you can uh, open it like this. You can go down and you have some kind of different brushes. And for example, I use this one for the snow. And I want to use this one, flat angle left hand post uh, for the rain. And all of these brushes should be in your Photoshop because I didn't install any of the brush. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to scale my brush up. So you can go in here to the top and scale the brush to the maximum like this or with Alt and uh, right click on the mouse. You can hold Alt and drag the right like so and scale it up. Okay, so right now if you try to draw something like this, we are going to have something like this and that's not good. And uh, if I draw it like this, it is not also not going to be good. So what I want to do is just click. And if I click, I am going to have something like this. Okay, I will go back because I would like to change my color. In here, you can see that there is a red color. So I would like to go and set this to the white like so. And I am going to click. And I am going to click one more time. And by clicking, I am going to create a rain like this. Okay, uh, this is going to take a while, but not as long. But uh, I think that this is pretty cool and uh, fast way of uh, creating the creating the rain. And right now I'm doing this with white color. But later on, if you want, you can change this to some kind of uh, slight blue color. Okay. And maybe I will cut this right now to finish it. So you do not need to watch me do it all the way up. All right. Uh, if you want, you can uh, scale your brush down a little bit and make some a little bit uh, smaller rain like this. And you can do something like this. Unfortunately, I'm not really sure and I don't know whether I can rotate this brush or no, but it doesn't matter because right now when I am done and I guess I'm done, I can go to my uh, layer. I can hit Ctrl T. It is going to allow me to transfer this and I can rotate it like so. Okay, and I am going to hit enter. And I'm going to have something like this. Okay, uh, now if you want, uh, you can go and get the E, like eraser tool in here, and you can maybe erase some of the rain. And you can go with 100% opacity, which is going to erase it like so, 
or you can go with maybe uh, uh, some smaller opacity and just make it a little bit less visible, some of them, if you want. Okay, this is, this is optional, so, but this is uh, the way how you can create some kind of rain. Okay, so once I'm satisfied, and I think that this is fine, I'm going to save this, and I will save this as a PNG. So I'm going to hide my black background, and I'm going to hide my white background. So right now I'm going to have this on the transparent uh, layer, and you probably do not see it, but it is in there. And oh, one more thing that I didn't mention, I'm going to leave the rain to be white. But you can go ahead and create solid color and make this to be almost uh, white, but some kind of blue. And then with Alt, click like so. You have the rain layer and this blue layer. And you can make this uh, rain to be different color. Or by default, you can set different color. But I do not want to do this. I want this rain to be white. But you can change the color. So right now I have only the rain visible and I am going to export this. So file, export, and export as or save for web legacy. And I prefer to do this with this one, but they are almost the same. And we want to have this as a PNG and I would like to hit save. And I'm going to save this to my, uh, to my place. All right, so here I am. I created a folder images and I'm going to call this to be rain and I'm going to hit save. All right, so right now I will go to the Adobe Animate and I already created a canvas which is 800 by 800 pixels, but I can do it one more time. So Ctrl N. And if you open your Adobe Animate, you are going to have something like this. So I will go with 800 by 800. Uh, frame rate is fine like this and we want to have HTML5 canvas and I will hit create and I will close my old one. So here I am and right now I would like to drag my uh, rain PNG and my image in here. So here is the folder where, where I have my rain and where I have my image and I am going to just uh, drag it like so. Okay. Uh, one more, one another option how to import the images is go to the file, import, import to stage. It is going to directly import it like uh, right now or import to the library, which would import it to the library in here. And then from the library, you would drag it to the stage like so. Okay, fine. So uh, right now, uh, my canvas is going to be like this. And this is the place uh, which is going to be visible in the browser. In here on the top, you have this clip content outside the stage. And if I click this, this is how this is going to look in the browser. And if I unclick this, we can work like this. So right now, uh, as always, I would like to just save this. So Ctrl S and uh, save this to the place where it should be. So here I am and I will call this to be rain and I will hit save. So now, I have uh, my, my image and my rain on the one layer. So there are two options how to separate this or one option, but how to highlight both of them. If I click on the layer, layer one like this, it is going to highlight the image and the rain or I can highlight it like so. And then I will right click and choose distribute two layers. And right now I am going to have two layers or three, but one is going to be empty and one is rain and one is image. And this image, I can go ahead and scale down a little bit. So I can click this transform tool and I can scale it down like this a little bit. All right, fine. Uh, now I want to hide, not hide by, uh, but lock the image because I would like to move the rain and I do not want to accidentally move the image. So on the image, I am going to click this lock. And right now I cannot move the image. So here is my rain. And uh, this is why I was uh, doing this uh, with uh, 960 or uh, 6, 1600 uh, in the Photoshop. So this rain is a little bit bigger than my, than my canvas. Okay. And right now what I want to do is go maybe to frame 50. And 
or on the background, just click F5 or right click and insert frame. And this is going to extend the timeline for the, for the background. And the rain, uh, we want to animate the rain. And when we, when we want to animate something, something, we need to convert it to the symbol. So I will click on the rain and I will go to the modify and I'm going to hit convert to symbol. Uh, I can call this to be rain and make sure it is movie clip and just click OK. And right now in the, in the library, we are going to have the image, we are going to have another image and we are going to have the rain with a little bit different icon and it means it is movie clip. And if you don't have a library or anything, you can go to the window and get it in here. All right, fine. So once this is a movie clip, we can go ahead and animate it. So I'm going to position it somehow like this. So I can uh, see my uh, rain through all of the image. And I will go to the maybe frame 15, click F6 or right click and insert keyframe. And you put insert keyframe when you want to animate it and insert frame when you just want to extend the timeline. And on this keyframe with shift and arrows, I'm going to put this down like so. Okay. And I can uh, go ahead and uh, right, right click anywhere in between and choose create classic twin. Okay. And now we are going to have something like this. And if I click control enter for the test, This is how it is going to look like. Okay. Uh, I think that it is pretty slow. So I can go ahead and make it a little bit faster like this. And then uh, remove the rest of the image. So right click and remove frames. And right now, for example, we can create new layer and uh, we can hide the first rain. We can put it one more time. And for example, right now we can uh, rotate it. So I'm going to hit Q or go in here or uh, pre-transform tool and rotate it like so and animate it so it is uh, it looks a little bit different. And go from here and here F6 or create new keyframe and an animate it down like this. Okay, and then right click and create classic tweet. I will hit Ctrl Enter and we will see how this is going to look like. Okay, so I think this is fine, but uh, when you are working like this and it is looping every 50 seconds, there is pretty big chance. And in my case, this is right now not very noticeable, but it is there, th there is going to be this cut. Okay, and there is not much you can do to avoid this cut, but there is one way how to eliminate this cut. Okay, so this is the simple way how to create the rain and you can put as much rain as you want you can make it heavy and so on but right now i was kind of lucky to don't have much cut in there but there is possibility that you are going to have much bigger cut so what i'm going to do right now is i will actually get rid of my rains and on i will create a new layer and on this layer i'm going to drag a rain like this like so but right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag one more rain like, like so. And then one more like this. Okay. And you can go ahead and maybe rotate it like this. You can make it more heavy or less heavy. It's up to you. But we can go ahead and create the rain like this as long as we want because uh, when we do it like this, this cut is not going to be every one second, but the cut is going to be every 10 seconds or every 15 seconds or depending on your patient, <laughs> you can do this as high as you want. Okay, so something like this. And uh, right now, what I can do is highlight all of this as it is and hit F8 and convert it to the symbol. And I'm going to call this uh, rain two. And I will click okay. Fine. And uh, right now I want to animate all of this down. Okay. So I will go to maybe frame, I don't know, 250, we will see. And on this one, I'm going to click F5 
I can go with F6, but uh, this one is not going to be animated, so that's not, there is no point. And on this one, I'm going to click F6 or a right click and insert keyframe. And now we can, with shift and arrow, animate this down. Okay, <laughs> this can take a while, or you can uh, move it like so with the shift, so you don't go accidentally to the left or the right, you can animate it like this. Okay, and then I can uh, click anywhere in between, right click and create classic twin. Okay, fine. I'm going to click Ctrl Enter, and we will see what we are going to have. Okay, so we have we have something like this. And right now what is good about this, that the cut is going to be there, but the cut is not going to be every uh, one second, but the cut is going to be like every nine seconds or 10 seconds and is like not very noticeable. And if you want to make this uh, to be a little bit more heavy, you can create new layer. You can get this rain too, put it in here like so. You can, for example, rotate it like this. You can put it like so. Temporarily, I will hide this layer and I will call this to be rain one. This is going to be rain two. And this rain two, we can animate the same way. So we can go to the, to the last, last uh, frame, F6, and animate this down. And I will do this with uh, mouse and shift like so. Like this, I am going to zoom in a little bit and again create classic twin. Okay, I will hit Ctrl Enter and this is what we are going to have. So now the rain is a little bit more heavy because we have uh, it two times in there. And as I said, there is going to be cut every 250 frames, but uh, this cut is not very noticeable. And if you want, you can make this to be much longer, all of this rain and then animate it every uh, 500 frames. And the cut is going to be once in half minute and so on, and it's like pretty cool, I guess. All right, so uh, I was like uh, really happy to make it this way because I was uh, thinking a lot of time like how to make this without the cut. And I think that this is a really great way. So let me know in the comment what you think. Okay, and uh, right now I would like to show you how to export this. So I will go to the place where I have my banner. So it is in here, banner, and I have my animate file. It is this one, or uh, some recover file, it is fine. It's just animate creates these files. And then we have this JS, HTML, and images, okay? And uh, right now, I am going to delete this. So I'm going to delete this JS, I'm going to delete this HTML, and I'm going to delete these images, okay? I want to have only the animate file. And the animate file you cannot delete because you have it open. And now I will go back to the animate and I will go to the file, publish settings. And in here I will go to this folder, select publish destination, and I'm going to uh, search for the for my for my place, so I will go in here to the banner, and here is the animate file. I do not see it right now, but it is in here. And I will right click, create new folder, and this called folder I am going to call to be index. And I will go inside of this index, and I am going to call also this to be index. You do not need to, but I am used to work like this. I, I will hit save, and I will hit OK. And then I will hit file, and I will hit publish. And right now, all of the files that we have deleted are going to be published in the index. So we are going to have JavaScript, we are going to have HTML, and we are going to have these images, which are like so. And this is the image of the background, this is the rain. And uh, right now, if you want to send this to someone who uh, can put this to your web, what you can do is right-click on the index, send to, and compressed zip folder. And if you want to make something like this for Google Ads, it's like a more complex process because you have to add something in your code. Your code must be uh, less than 150 kilobytes 
and you must work with some kind of libraries and so on. But uh, you can create uh, animation like this and put it to your website or something like that. So yeah, you can send this uh, file to your web developer or if you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you can do this by your own. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. This was uh, not very quick, but tutorial how to create rain in uh, Adobe Animate. As I said, I created also how to create snow or how to create particles. And I have many tutorials about Adobe Animate, some about the After Effects in my channel. So you can go ahead and check the channel. Uh, if you are interested in more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, click the bell button. And yeah, uh, maybe I will see you in next tutorial. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.